Azealia, my queen, I am so sorry, but your time has come. We need to kick her out. That's it. It's the video. We're trying to kick Azealia out today because she's kind of overstayed her welcome at this point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I really wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt, but I can't take it anymore. She needs to leave. And I'm going to spend some time right now kicking her out. I've never done a video where like I kicked out a villager. I like to usually kick villagers out off camera just because it just takes too long, you know? That's the main reason. I'm just like, I, I don't like doing it on camera because I get pissed off with how hard it takes to kick villagers out. The last video was a villager hunt where I kicked Huck out. I time traveled a long time to get Huck out specifically. It's not hard to get a villager to start thinking to move out, but it gets annoying when it's always the villager you don't want leaving. On Camp Radic, I had my dreamies who were staying tell me how every single one of them had a thought bubble before Huck. In a perfect world, Azealia would be thinking right now, I've time traveled about two weeks, I think. Azealia will have a thought bubble over her head and she'll be like, it's time for me to go. But this isn't a perfect world. Agnes is our loading screen for the day, so maybe that's a good sign because Agnes is a perfect human being. Oh, we have a campsite. <gasps> we have a campsite villager. See, mm, this is annoying too because like, I could use the campsite villager to kick out Azealia, but I'm obviously going on a villager hunt. So like, I don't, <laughs> like I, I want the plot to be empty. Is it worth checking who the camper is? I mean, I guess we could go say hi. I'm not taking them, whoever it is, because I need the plot to be empty, but who knows? Like, let's see. Maybe it's a good villager. Maybe it's a surprise. It can't be Wolfgang once again because he's already on this island, but it would be creepy if it was Fang. You know what's more exciting than a campsite villager? Today's sponsor, Brick City. This brand new city building mobile game is available now on iOS and Android. Set in the year 2523, you are tasked with building a city that would revive a now abandoned and polluted earth with the help of the miraculous bricks building blocks filled with purifying energy that helps heal the planet. With over 7,000 different bricks blocks available Available at launch, you can transform your wildest ideas into reality. By making your own custom blueprints or choosing one that's made by others, you will have the power to construct a beautiful city filled with landmarks, parks, and anything else you desire. You can also connect with other players and explore their cities, allowing you to discover exclusive blueprints and new Brick City residents known as Peepos. Being able to immerse yourself in this joyful world with its soothing soundtrack makes this game a relaxing and fun experience that can help you escape from the chaos of everyday life, which is enough for me to play the game, to be honest. So if you're interested in the game or you'd like to support the channel, click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to download Brick City for free today. Anyways, back to me role-playing in Animal Crossing. Who is it? <gasps> My baby. I love Clay so much. I would love to take him, but no, no, we need to kick Azealia out today. Oh, thank God. See, we have a blessing with a good campsite villager, by the way. So like, I think that's a sign. I'm gonna run by Azealia's house or maybe the plaza or something and she's gonna be thinking. You know, I love how usually like in life when someone you love wants to leave, it's like a bad thing because it's like, why are you leaving me? How dare you? You want to be away from me? But like in Animal Crossing, it's like, no, bitch, you want to leave? Get out, please. I love Azealia down. I do. I thought she was, oh, she's thinking, she's thinking, she's thinking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Girl, I love you. I do. I do. I do. I really do. But uh-uh. Out of curiosity, what would your reaction be if I was tell if I was to tell you that I'm planning to move away? Shock, nausea, a dead faint, nothing too dramatic, I hope. For exactly, that's why I'm pondering. Has the time come for me to make a change? Or should I settle and stay here? Bon voyage, boobs. Get out. Why did I call her boo? Girl, I love you. I do. But it's time you need to leave because we can kick Azealia out and we can go on a villager hunt. Melba, it's a good day for us all. Oh, fuck. I should not have talked to her. She was break dancing. Break dancing to the backbeat, just like Lana Del Rey. That is so Lana Del Rey core of her. What on earth is she wearing? Oh, my God. The dress with that hat. You are one of the fashion icons of the island, so I get that you're trying to, like, start something, but, um, 
Maybe stop. <laughs> Anyways, because I time traveled back, um, Isabel will not be announcing that Azealia is leaving today. Although to be fair, judging by the drama and everything, I don't think anyone's gonna give a fuck that she's gone. Like Agnes, do you give a fuck? What are you wearing by the way? I'm gonna keep my mouth shut because like I've said many times on this channel, Agnes's fashion taste, interesting to say the least. Here we are for the final time. I am entering Azealia's home. My girl, oh, did you come by to say goodbye? Well, I'm glad you did. When I wasn't sure if this island life was for me, you encouraged me to be brave and consider my options. See, she wanted to leave. So now I can set out on this voyage with my head held high. I'll truly miss you, Vis, and I will truly miss you as well, Azelia. I truly hope you move on to an island where everyone will, f will just embrace you. You truly deserved better. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, moving on. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, and it's a new life. As we can see, the plot is officially empty. So it's villager hunting time. Oh my god, Poppy. Wait, why is Poppy kind of eating up this look right now? The polo and the glasses with the ice cream? Walking around with the swagger? He got himself a new girl and he's immediately like the Riz. The Riz just went up. Oh my God, he's all up in my face too, walking with the sass. Okay. Anyways, we're off to island number one. And the only question I have is, will I find the dreamy on the first island? Let's see. Uh what? Uh, where am I? What is this? Girl, this doesn't look like a Nook Miles ticket island, huh? <laughs> Why the fuck am I on Willow right now? This is not where I'm supposed to be right now. Oh my god. Anyways, I mean, I guess while we're here, we might as well see what's up. Whoa. Why is the campsite on the beach? That seems weird. Um... Pietro and Pate aren't home either. I wonder why. Hmm, the lake looks pretty similar. Oh, Teddy's home. <gasps> Teddy's home currently. I wonder why, what's going on? Why am I on Willow? <laughs> why am I on Willow? <laughs> Okay, the jig is up. Yeah, to no one's surprise, he's finally returning. Oh, aren't you this? Yeah, you of all people should know who I am. It's too bad we won't have a chance to hang out. I'm moving off the island. I haven't decided where I'm moving to though. Um, girl, I think you have decided where you want to go. I'd love to be your neighbor again. I miss working out with you. I missed working out with you too. Just got word back from resident services on Fallbrook. We're gonna be neighbors again. Wait till everyone gets a look at these biceps. I'll see you on Fallbrook. My baby's coming back, okay? <laughs> After so many months of him being on Willow, he's finally returning. This idiot. He came over here on a web and he's been stuck over here with visa troubles this entire time. It took me having to get rid of Azealia for him to come back. He is finally returning. Um, also, as you can see, it's currently November on this island because I time traveled four months. It took me forever to get him out of here. And I guess now it's time for me to come clean. I lied. I'm a liar. I'm a clown. Like I said, I reset Willow. But if you you know me, you would know that I'm not getting rid of that island. I have my switch light right here. This switch light has literally just become like my island storage at this point. Like I had Willow ready here this entire time and I've been like playing on it every now and then. Oh my God, Wolfgang. Wolfgang in the sweater vest. Are you the gad about on everyone's mind? Not trying to be rude. Someone said we had an off islander poking around and you look lost. This man followed me onto Willow. Like how obsessed with me is he? I'm kidding. He's been on this island too. Willow, yeah, I've been like playing on it every now and then when I get like bored. Um, haven't abandoned the island yet. So here we are. Um, this is the island. I guess like we could give like a little tour. What have I done? I guess like coming back here. Ooh, in the autumn time, this area actually looks really cool. It's kind of foggy and stuff too right now. So like the vibes are perfect. I don't think I ever showed this off that I completely redid this area back here. It used to be like a bunch of trees and stuff. And then I got rid of it and turned it into like shopping corner thing. Um, Yeah, it's pretty cute, pretty fun. And then coming up here, ooh, up this ramp, I completely redid this area too. I actually moved Biscuit over here. So this is Biscuit's house. He 
he's still there. <gasps> And I see Pietro in the background, my baby. Wait, I have my ladder. I can go say hi to him. Oh my gosh. This area looking cute and fun. We have like this vending machine corner here. It's kind of funny because like, this is also the vibe that I'm planning on like kind of having over on Fallbrook. So it's funny to have two islands decorated the exact same way. Hi, King. Morning, this. Always nice to start the day off by running into you. I'm just out enjoying the cool breezes of Willow. So true, King, so true. Oh my God, the amount of Jacob's ladders everywhere. Is this, I think this island is five stars at the moment because I've got rid of so many trees. Yeah, this is all that I've done so far. I'm gonna probably just work on this island like on my own off camera, just kind of get it going because like I do like this island too y'all I had I had, I did not have the heart to get rid of it Pietro's on this island that's the main reason so yes the rumors are true Willow is still around unfortunately y'all won't be seeing it just know that it's still here and things are still happening oh my god and here we have the man of the hour it's my twin <laughs> hi twin can we like run into each other this is weird can I like follow him I'm controlling both of us at the same time. So this is like funny. What if we just both go and like pester Wolfgang? Like, hey, bitch, look, we're, he's getting fucking jumped right now by me and my twin. This is some freaky like multi, multi-universe shit. Or what is it called? Like the multiverse? Oh my God, let's go say hi to Teddy together. <laughs> this is so weird to control. <laughs> This is so dumb. Come on, little me. Let's go say hi to Teddy. Let's go together. Hello, Teddy. I'm back once again. It's gonna be so fun being neighbors again. We'll do crunches. Oh my God, wait, do they actually remember? Because this is the same Teddy that lived on Fallbrook. Oh my God, does he remember? That's so cute if he actually does. <gasps> What does he say to this Vis now that he's like moving to an official island? Wait, Teddy, talk to my clone. I finally picked a new place to live. I'm moving somewhere called Fallbrook. Cute. Yes. <laughs> This is so cursed. This is so ugly. Oh my gosh. I need to leave. I need to leave now. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm just going to leave from here. Wait, and the main reason why I'm leaving, because like after my character leaves the island, like so, I'm pretty sure like the move out glitch still happens. And like the cursed part about it. Look at this. I'm in Teddy's house without him. He just left me. I moved out once again. Teddy is officially off the island. We will never see him again. Now for today's announcements, we have a new friend on our island. Let's welcome back Teddy. It makes me so happy that he's back. Let's pretend she said that. Oh, yo, the drama on this island is about to go up now that Teddy's back. Teddy has finally returned. And now that he's here, yeah, I really do hope that shit's gonna hit the fan. Lopez, Lopez of all people better be fucking aware. Now that Teddy is back, he can't do his shit anymore. I'm running home, running to him, crying, beaten and battered. Like I'm opening the door and falling in, snot nosed, running down my fucking chin. Uh, oh, this, yep, I live here again, starting today, ready to get swell together. This place is great, but I shouldn't be surprised you pointed me here. Of course you shouldn't, of course you shouldn't. My boy is back where he belongs. This awkward rut that we've been in is finally over. Teddy is back where he belongs. This is where he deserves to be. This bitch is off the island. <laughs> We're just gonna go on a villager hunt because might as well. Oh my God, Biscuit, hello. Wait, Biscuit, my baby. Two months I have not spoken to him. I'm so sorry. Anyways, it's island number one. And the, oh my fucking God. <coughs> Guys, I just remembered where the yard is. It would not make sense for her. She's too bougie. I love her though. I actually might, I have her amiibo. So I think I'm gonna replace somebody with her. Yeah, sorry, Portia. Shout out to my dog, but um, God, this fucking shit is so loud. All right, this is island number two and it's a bamboo island. Um, who will be here? Let's see. Oh, it's Pee Wee. See, Pee Wee could work for the yard, but I don't know. <laughs> No, I don't even know who I want. I have like no dreamies for this island anymore. Obviously I abandoned it. So like I have one more ticket. I guess we could just go and see. I don't know why I'm even doing this on camera, by the way, like this was not supposed to be a part of the video, but here, I mean like we can just do it. Um, She's cute. 
but she's not it for me. So I think I'm just gonna autofill and we'll figure it out who it is together. Guys, it's the next day. I am scared for who might come on this island. I did use treasure islands for this island. So there's a chance that it might be a complete random from some random person's island. Oh, the plot has filled. The plot has filled. We're gonna find out who it is together. All right, three, two, one. I'm actually gonna shoot myself. I hate it here. I hate it here. I really do. Oh my God. The parallels? Do y'all remember the video where I kicked Teddy out? I found him in that video and now he's coming to this island after Teddy left. Maybe I should just show y'all the tattoo. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I admit it. There's a real reason why I brought Teddy back. I had an idea that I wanted to do when designing his yard. So I figured I would just kick Azealia out and bring Teddy back and then we could do it. And that's what I did. I kind of did it all on my own off camera, sort of, not really, cause I recorded it. But the main reason why I'm just quickly showing it is because I wanted to give a huge shout out to Straw Toryu here on YouTube because her island tour popped up on my recommended and I watched it. And oh my God, that island is stunning. <laughs> Can I just say that really quick? I visited the Dream of just shortly after and it was just so amazing. And here I am being inspired by it. I think like it was Prince's house on our island, if I remember correctly, kind of did something very similar. She used like a lot of bus stops to create like fake houses and create like this nice cozy little cul-de-sac area. I did something very similar for Teddy because I feel like it just perfectly matched his vibe. The area is not like 100% done because I have to remove so much of the surrounding area in order to continue it. I kind of just did like his house area and like a little path that leads up to it. And then there's this like part in front of Teddy's house that I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. I'm thinking of putting like a soccer field. I was going to do a basketball court, but that wouldn't make sense because there's already one by Poppy's house. Thinking soccer or something sports related um i don't know we'll see but yes i just wanted to share that really quick and now here we are today it is a day on the island let's just say that today is also lopez's birthday i figured we would play it together considering how big of a main character he is on this island let's celebrate it on camera um why don't we <laughs> oh god i can't believe, it. of course his birthday had to fall on a fireworks festival, by the way. Like, I think that's the funniest part about all this. Like he really wanted, oh my gosh, I have so much mail. Whoa, what's up this? Did you like school? I didn't, gym wasn't hard enough. I tried jumping ahead to college level gym classes, but it was too easy. Thank you, Teddy, for reminding me of school. I don't know what made him think I'd want to do that, but okay. Hello, Miss Girl, what are you doing on this side of the island? You're never here. I never imagined I'd come to this island and make such a dear why does she keep saying, girl, can you come up with something else? I'm not talking to you anymore. Anyways, we are headed up this way because I wanted to quickly <laughs> show off um, the cursed area by Teddy's house, which is all of this. Yeah, I kind of just built it right behind Lopez's house. As you can see, it looks like this right now. It's very fun, very cute. He's not currently home. Okay, I haven't done the interior of his house yet anyway, so it's fine. I added this ramp off camera and I have like this little alleyway that kind of comes up in between Poppy and Lopez's house. This is where the path's gonna go. I don't know what I wanna do down there yet. I'm thinking of maybe doing like a river or maybe like a train station, something along those lines. I don't know. The lake though, um, as you can see, a lot of it is now gone, <laughs> which is very, very sad. I do plan on keeping the lake on this island, um, preferably on this side of the island instead, since it's already here. A lot of figuring out on this island. As you can see, like coming up here real quick, I have like this whole hangout zone that I had on OG Fallbrook. It's still there. Originally, I was like planning on getting rid of it. But I don't know, like I'm kind of looking at it now. This is one of my favorite areas of Fallbrook. I might keep it. I don't know, just because like it's by Teddy's house, this path would line up perfectly with this area over here. And then like, maybe I can just kind of zhuzh it around and stuff. I don't know, like, I don't know. It's much to think about. This is kind of the fun thing about like slowly redoing the island is that I don't have like a concrete plan. So I'm open for change, you know? I'm open to kind of make things up as I go. And that's exciting. Anyways, today is an important day 
because it's the fireworks festival. I will not be playing it because I don't think we need to deal with that drama once again. But I mean, it is Lopez's birthday. First of all, what did Teddy even get me? A school debt. Oh, thank you, Teddy. Oh, it's the white one. Dang it. I could just customize it. Oh, um, oh, I'm standing in this area, right? I guess I should share that I did some little renovations to this town plaza area. To nobody's surprise, I added more trees, as you can see. So this area is a lot busier and a lot more crowded and grown in. I, I kind of like it. I think the main reason why I did it was because I wanted to kind of expand this dirt path and have it go all the way down, just so it doesn't look so out of place. Cause I don't know, it looked so random when it was over here. And then there was just like stone pads everywhere. And also the trees kind of cover the little like grass inseams. Yeah, it's cute. I'm a fan of it. I love it a lot. I'm stalling because I'm slowly starting to regret the fact that I'm gonna have to celebrate Lopez's birthday on camera. So I mean like, ugh, I, like I should just go look for a gift, right? That's what I should do. What gift do I wanna give Lopez? Like usually I like to just give them clothes because they'll actually wear them. Is there anything in here that would look cute on him? I could give him this pacifier since he's a little baby. What's like the perfect item that screams Lopez, you know? Like something he would wear. He would wear this neon green tied up t-shirt, but I do not want to feed into his interesting fashion senses. So let's see. I could give him this antenna. That looks like something he would wear. I wish they would wear this mohawk. It would be so funny if the villagers were able to wear this. The pacifier is kind of his vibe though, but I don't think he would wear it. That's why I don't really want to give it to him. Um. Oh my god, this outfit that my player is wearing right now. Wow, I ran out of screenshot space. Dang it, I have an SD card on this Switch and I have over 10,000 photos. Some of them include photos like this and that. As you can see, it's mainly Animal Crossing. It's mainly Animal Crossing. And like, it's just an issue that I don't really want to deal with, but it's just something that I live with. There's nothing here at Able Sisters. Mabel, Sable, y'all disappoint me. How come there's nothing in here that would work for Lopez? I guess I could look at Nook's crannies. I don't know, maybe there's like a furniture item or something. Again, I don't usually like giving them furniture just because why are these two always hanging out over here? Like Gonzo specifically, like Dobie, okay, cause his house is still nearby, but Gonzo? Gonzo was always over here. It's so strange. Oh my God, he's gonna whack Daisy Mae with that net. See, I would give this couch, but I want this chair for me, this patchwork chair. It would match Lopez's aesthetic perfectly, but no, no, I'm not gonna give him that. Nah, -uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's going in my closet because I actually want it for probably Teddy's house. I think it would work very well. He had like a patchwork chair over on Willow. So maybe I'll just give him that same patchwork chair. Is there anything in here that would like work with him? Ooh, the marine pop flooring is also very cute. I'm gonna buy that for me. I never buy flooring in this game though. Honestly, like these road, road flooring things as well. I'm getting that. I'm getting that for sure. And like, oh wow, this gray diner wall. I am 100% stalling right now. Yeah, I am because I, <laughs> like, I don't know. It's like, yay, we can go say happy birthday to him, I guess. But like, do I really want to deal with my enemy on his special day? I know I've said famously that like, I don't normally like to be mean to people on their birthdays. It's just hard when it's Lopez. <laughs> That's the issue with me. It's hard when it's Lopez. I guess I could give him this. Maybe I can give him this wrestling figure, you know, as like a sign that if he ever tries it with me, I will turn into that man and wrestle his ass down. Who do we think is at his house right now? That's the other thing I'm considering. Lopez doesn't really have a lot of, um, fans on this island, let's just say that. So we know it's not Whitney and it's not our grandpas because they're over there. It's also not Margie because Margie's currently home and I'm pretty sure that Agnes is home as well, yes. Hmm, Melba's home too, okay. Good thing it's not Melba because you know, those two definitely have beef. Who could it be? Poppy's not home. Oh my God, what if it's Poppy? What if Poppy's the one throwing his birthday party right now? That would be so funny. His ex-boyfriend throwing him a birthday party after he dumped him for Melba. That would be so, so. Um. 
sorry, what? Why are you here? You're late, Vis. We were waiting for you. What? Were we supposed were we supposed to do this together? I I thought what? <laughs> Today is Lopez's big day, Groove. Everyone's in party flex mode. Like, he was very excited for Lopez's birthday. Oh my god, and he's all up on- Um... If I'd known he was doing this, I would have been like, oh, he's probably just, like, pranking him or something. But, like, considering everything going on... Like, I know Teddy is just, like, a really nice guy. And, like, you know, he probably just wants to, like, be friendly with everybody. Like, he was friend, You know, like, he threw Wolfgang's birthday as well. He did. But, like, I don't mind when it's Wolfgang. Because, like, Wolfgang, sure, he did me dirty in the past, too. But, like, we're, we're over that. We've made up. We're friends again. Lopez? And now the bad news is I don't have any swag for you. Girl, you don't have swag to begin with. What are you on about? This, huh, I guess the birthday gift I have is <laughs> definitely yep definitely makes sense right now and you're gonna be in here all day with him too teddy threw his birthday party celebrating a friend's birthday with everyone like this strengthens your friendship puzzles you two are friends i thought you two hated each other i just i'm very confused right now is all I have to, like, why are you here? Lopez looks so happy. Why do you care about that? It's too bad birthdays only happen once a year. It's so awesome to see him smiling. I just executed the perfect birthday somersault. I've been practicing just for this day, but Lopez got mad at me for being too rowdy in his home. And like, you know, the other thing, the other, th like, my birthday was a few months ago. And he lived here. Did he show up to my birthday party though? No, he didn't. He didn't show up to my birthday party. Poppy threw my birthday party. Poppy threw my birthday party. Doby threw, wait, who threw my birthday party back in December? It was Whitney. I had to pull up my own video. It was Whitney, Doby, and Poppy. Whitney threw my birthday last year. Poppy threw my birthday the year before. And neither of those years Teddy threw it. Teddy couldn't be bothered to throw me a birthday party, but he was willing to throw one for Lopez. Lopez of all people. He seems so happy. Girl, shut up. I Like, what makes you think I care? I'm not happy right now. Happy birthday, Lopez. You would not give me this energy on my birthday. Why are you screaming that in my face? Do I look like Lopez to you? It's a big deal. It's a big deal. So Lopez's birthday is a big deal to you, but my birthday isn't a big deal? Okay, Teddy, okay. Maybe he should have just stayed on Willow. That, like, that's what it sounds like right now. What the fuck? No, I need to leave. I need to leave right now. Shut up, girl. Lopez, shut up. This is literally not about you. This is not about you. Stop trying to make it about you of all things on this day. In the back of my head, I was like, it would be very funny, you know, if Teddy were to be the one to throw Lopez's birthday party. Like, I was just like, that would have been so funny because like, he wouldn't do it for me. He's never bothered to do it for me. He's willing to do it for my enemy on this island. The one who backstabbed me and did me dirty so many times. And yet I still kept him on the island because I was like, you know, I'm the bigger person. Y'all, grandpa, do you hear this shit? How you doing? I'm doing horrible. You excited for the fireworks show? No, no, I'm not excited at the moment. I'm doing horrible. Whitney, no, where's my girl Agnes? I need to vent to her because Agnes always knows. Agnes knows the tea. Agnes, bestie, help me. Hey, bestie, thought you'd come by. Yeah, she, she, oh, so you knew. You knew that Teddy was throwing the birthday party. She was waiting for me. She has the snacks ready and everything. I really love my nice, simple tea dress. It goes with everything. She's trying to change the subject. Girl, what is this? The double take? Uh-huh. She knows I'm stressed out right now. Look at her. I was such a troublemaker back in the day. I remember this one time I went to the store. I was in a big rush, so I didn't grab a cart. Before I knew it, I was carrying ice cream, pickles, pizza, coffee, eggs, pancakes, chocolate, everything. I was on my way to check out when I kind of slipped. I tried to hang on to my food tower, but well... Clean up on aisle four, Crumple. The sisterlies always come through with the funniest dialogue, by the way. Like, Miss Agnes, you know Miss Agnes always has a funny story to tell. That's what I love about her. That's why she's my best friend. That's why she's my best friend. Go, bestie, go off. I'm sorry, if I, like, I was definitely just hallucinating there, right? Like, I was, I was hallucinating. I was hallucinating. Like, I'm gonna go back in there and it's actually Poppy. Poppy the one who would, who would, like, 
you know, who's doing this? Because like Poppy, it would make sense, okay. No, no, it's still Teddy. Like, what is this? Celebrating a friend's birthday with everyone like this? Strength. Okay, you're just repeating the same thing. Can you say something else? I just executed, oh, same thing. Do they really not have anything else to say? Come on, go with the story. All he wants to talk about is Lopez. Like, I get that it's his, I get that it's his birthday. Yeah, okay, but like, it's Lopez. Lopez seems so happy. I don't give a fuck. Like, what make, why are you telling me this? It makes me happy when my buddies are happy. Well, I'm not happy right now. So why are you happy? Why are you happy when I'm not happy? I'm kind of annoyed right now with this. What is going on? See, it's like, I wouldn't be mad if he like with him throwing the birthday party like i get that like okay even if it's lopez like i wouldn't be mad because like i said before like teddy is just a very friendly guy he likes to be on everybody's good side regardless i'm shaking my table you know it's like okay under normal circumstances okay but like considering the fact that my birthday happened a few months ago and like he couldn't be bothered you know, like, I remember that video now that I'm thinking about it. Like, he wasn't even on the island. I had to go searching, running around for him so that he could wish me a happy birthday. And yet for Lopez, he wakes up bright and early at like nine in the morning. It's 10 in the morning now. They've probably been celebrating since the crack of dawn to go to his house, decorate it, put on a perfectly good green suit and celebrate with him. And it's the fireworks festival too. It's the first fireworks festival since Teddy came back. This is the most eventful weekend on Fallbrook. But no, he would rather go and celebrate it with Lopez. Hey there, Maximum, I was hoping I'd see you. Of course you were. After a walk, I like to throw back a nice spice chai. Let's get one together sometimes. He knows, he knows too. He knows that Teddy's throwing the birthday party because Teddy probably told him about it. Teddy probably told him about it, but he wouldn't tell me because he knew I'd be mad. And the fact that he knew I'd be mad and he still did it, I wouldn't be mad if he at least told me he was gonna do it. You know, like if you're gonna tell, like tell me, tell me. And I'd be like, okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna get in the way of it. Just wow, just wow, 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 wow. You know, that's really all I have to say. Just wow. I was gonna spend the rest of this video, I was gonna go wish him a happy birthday. And then, you know, I did Teddy's house. I spent hours perfecting Teddy's lawn so that it would match him completely. And Teddy would never do the same for me. He would never do the same for me. That's what I'm realizing right now. When you really think about it, he's never done anything like that for me. And I was gonna sit here now and renovate Teddy's home on camera. I get that he's been gone from this island for so long now, and he's been on Willow, away from everybody. He's been away from everybody this entire time. But like your first week back, and the first thing you do is throw a birthday party for Lopez? Girl, like we're all, we're all judging you for this. Look, look at Tom Nook right now. Tom Nook is judging him. Even Tom Nook knows the tea. You can just see it in his face. And now while he's still at Lopez's house on this day of all days, I'm over here working hard once again to provide Teddy the perfect, perfect home. Like we, we, we should start with the exterior. I mean, the cabin vibes do work perfectly, but like, you know, I'm gonna renovate everybody's houses. So like, I guess it's the opportunity to like give them something new. I was thinking of kind of doing this sort of vibe instead with like the thatched roof and everything, just cause like, you know, the whole like rundown vibe or whatever. And it's like, when I say rundown, I don't mean like poor, I just mean, I, like, I guess like rugged, I don't know if that's the right word. Like, you know, like that, like that look, like that look, it's not run down, but like overgrown, my typical vibe. Like that's what I'm trying to go for. I, if that even makes sense. I, sorry, like I just, I, I really can't right now. I really can't. I need to figure out Teddy's house. Like, I guess like this house style could work for him. Maybe with like a different door just because I've been giving everybody this specific door. Let's give him something else. Like what door works with, Teddy. Yeah, I I guess. Like, is there really any point in like spending time, so much time giving Teddy the perfect house right now? You know, like I like we could just do this, you know, and like I guess like we might as well work on the interior as well. This is how his interior currently looks. Like we could just like get rid of everything. Um, like we can get rid of all this. None of this is needed right now. Sure. Like, what walls should I give? I don't know. Clearly. 
with me and Teddy specifically, like he's not really somebody who like cares too much. So I mean, like, I feel like he would have that wall, you know? He would just have like the dirt clawed run down, you know, just like run down, no effort behind. Like, you know, like we'll give him this dusty old wallpaper too. Cause clearly like he doesn't want to put effort into anything. He doesn't want to put effort into me. So like, why should I put effort into him? You know, when you really think about it, like he doesn't need a lot. Like he doesn't give a fuck, right? He is like the leader of the I don't give a fuck war clearly let's just give him some like sloppy furniture like he can have this chair it's not clean at all it's actually kind of nasty and like maybe he can have this chair this is my chair that cardboard box that's my chair for when i'm here like that's what i get to sit on because like again like i said before he just doesn't care he doesn't care so why should i care like he has that nice bed over there i might even just get rid of that bed let's just give him this sloppy bed because you know that's what he just is a sloppy shithead a sloppy sloppy piece of shit. And you know what? Since he clearly loves Lopez so much, like he clearly loves Lopez more than he loves me, like he would probably do that. Yeah, for sure. Like that would be his bed sheet. He would probably make it and he would be like, oh my God, Lopez, look, I made this blanket for you. I just find it so funny. The effort that I went through to basically ruin my friendship that I had with Azelia because Azelia and I, we were cool. And I was like rooting for Azelia, as we all know. I was like, girl, I love you. Nobody on this island hates you, I promise. But yet I still threw all of that away so that I could move Teddy back onto the island. Azelia left the island pissed, pissed that I would just spontaneously let her go. After that motivating speech I gave to her during the fireworks festival, promising her that I would have her back. I, I threw it all away so that Teddy could come back. He sloppy bitch, have the sloppy sink, why don't you? He doesn't even deserve a fridge, no. And like, you know, like here, have a stove, I guess. Cause I like to give my villagers kitchens. Take this, take this stove. Here, have the blue one. It doesn't even go with the apartment, but you could still have the blue one. Ask me if I give a f cause I clearly don't. He needs a fridge. Where's the damn fridge? I don't even, I don't give a f Get that, put that there. And you know what? Like while you're at it, like, um, it could be pink. Sure, I don't give a f like, and you know, like I said, he loves him so much. Like, bam, he could have this cause this was originally in his house. And you know what, once again, like, since he clearly loves him so much, like there. Tom Nook agrees. Look, Tom Nook's living for this. And then like, we have this corner over here. Like I said before, Teddy is someone who just like, doesn't really care. Like he doesn't really care. I could just put anything there and he would go with it, right? Like he would 100% go with it and like not like care, care at all about it. Just, you know, like he, he, the, <laughs> We can give him the garbage cans. Like, sure, he probably has a lot of trash. He probably loves to have trash. It's, he clearly, he like, by sloppy seconds, he loves to hang out with them so much. Like, here, have some more sloppy furniture over here. And, like, here we have this. You know what? Like, while I'm at it, like, he loves, he clearly loves my exes so much. Like, here, have a photo of my other ex. Yeah, they're on the floor. And you know what? Like, let's just, like, have a bunch of them everywhere. You know what I'll put on the wall? I'll tell you what I'll put on the wall. He loves all my enemies. He loves all my exes. There, you can have a photo of Peck. You can have a photo of Chadwick. Like, you know what? Throw in Kyle, too, since he clearly loves people who backstabs everybody. Melba didn't do me dirty, but, like, he'll probably run back to his ex, too. Here's Goose, Zucker. Zucker did nothing wrong, but you know what? Sure, like, since he clearly loves everybody more than he loves me, like, I'll put all of these flops on his wall. And let's see if he gives a fuck. Because, like, he'll probably love it. He'll be like, wow, these are so many people that I love. But none of these people are me. None of these people are me. But like, he doesn't care. He won't care because he won't even realize it. He won't realize it. You know what? Like, this is Teddy's house. This is Teddy's house. For the time being, I didn't even bother to get rid of that clock or that thing. That, I don't care. This is Teddy's house. It looks lovely. I'm sure it does. Yes, it does. I don't think he's home. <laughs> Knowing my luck, he's probably not home. No, he's not home. Of course he's not home. I'm having fun somewhere else. How fitting. That's, no, that's exactly what he would say. He clearly, I'm having fun somewhere else. That's probably what he thought of when he lived in Willow when I left. I left Willow and he realized how fun his life actually is. And now I'm here looking for him. And he's like, no, I'm having fun somewhere else. When I'm around you, I'm never having fun. That's how it is, Teddy, huh? That's how it is. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, I do not want to look at you right now. Nah -uh. Hold me. Why are you thinking? Why are you thinking? I need a favor. Maybe you've heard, but I had a fight with... No, no, stop this. No. <laughs> no. What the fuck is happening on Fallbrook? At least she's... Okay, I, 
I'm giving the gift right away. No, me and Teddy are going through a rough patch. Okay, but like these two, nah, -uh. I'm doing whatever it takes to fix it right away. These two are not allowed to fight. These two are not allowed to fight. You are literally the glue that's holding this island together. Uh, uh where is Whitney? Whitney, girl, move. I need to go. Whitney, what the hell were you two even fighting about? Margie doesn't suck. Okay, at least you still love her. At least you know that, right? What could this be? Please take this gift right this second <laughs> and patch your relationship together. So this is from Margie. For me? Hmm, what could it be? Oh, well, how about that? That's your... What was the fight about? You're giving her a bath towel wrap? Like, did you call her a stinky bitch or something? I'm not sure this sort of thing suits me, but it was a gift, I suppose. Well, I mean, like, you should at least try it on. You're right. There's no harm in just seeing how it looks. Hold on a moment. I don't think I should be here right now while she's just wearing a... Oh, God, this is like, um, like, I, I... Girl, this is kind of, like, I feel like I shouldn't be in the room right now. Um, like, I... Whitney is my girl. Like, I, well... Oh dear. It, it, it's fine, it's fine, I lied. It's fine. Well, if you say so, I'll give it a shot. I hope you're not joking around. Margie went out and picked up such a thoughtful gift for me. She's such a sweetheart. I guess I should go apologize to her so we can finally put this all behind us. Now, if you're worried about my friend and me, girl, you are not friends. Don't be. I'm sure we'll patch things up in no small part to your delivery. Oh, I saved the day. I saved the day. Ew, why are you giving me the tank you wore? It, it, you were... <laughs> Why are you giving me that? I don't want it. Okay, Whitney, you didn't have to give me anything anyways. Um, anyways, we're both standing here. You are naked in a towel. So I think I'm going to leave now. Bye. Margie, where are you at? Where are you at, girl? I saved your relationship. I saved your marriage. Thanks for dropping my gift off with Whitney. How'd Whitney react? Pretty well, I think. Oh, it's such a relief to hear that. Thanks to you, I think we may be able to patch things up. Thank God. Thank God. And you know what? While I'm here, um, I have no business holding Whitney's tank. So why don't you have it? Considering that you're her, you're her wife, you know, it's Whitney's tank. Clearly it was meant for you. So there, there you go. You do look great. It actually does suit her kind of well. Blue's a good color on her. Anyways, where the hell is Teddy? Where is Teddy? Once again, nowhere to be found. <laughs> when I need him too. When I need him. When I want to look at him, he is nowhere to be found. Just like on my birthday, and just like the day after Lopez's birthday, AKA today. Teddy is so IDGAF, speak of the devil. He is so IDGAF that like, he'll just be like, I love what you did with my house. Yo, Vis, I get all my clothes a size too small. Why be so swole if you don't show it off? You saying that while wearing an oversized jacket is funny, first of all, but like, you don't have anything to say about the house? Okay. Okay, like, I just spent some time designing his house for him. No, thank you. No, like, oh my God, this. Thanks for renovating my house. Oh my gosh. You must've spent hours doing this. Like nothing, nothing. Really, Teddy? You just want to talk about yourself once again? I'm learning a lot about him today and I don't know how I feel about that. Girl, what should I do? Oh my gosh, she's cooking. She got the I don't give a fuck shades on and she's cooking inside her own house. Look at her. Oh my God, what are you making? A peach tart real real you know what like i'm just gonna spend the rest of the day with agnes like we're gonna make some peach cobblers together let's do it like girl what should i do i'm coming to you for advice i need to just sit about it and think so that's exactly what i'm gonna do hmm <laughs> hmm my boyfriend's a backstabbing pig girl i don't know what the fuck is happening today <laughs> I just, I can't. You know, it's like, the thing is as well is that like, I just did that villager hunt where I found Rodney on the other island. I think like the, the, the anger from that is what's influencing this part of the video right now. Let's just say that. I need a, I, I, comment down below what you think I should do. <laughs> What do you do when your boyfriend throws a party for your ex-boyfriend slash enemy? Do you A, dump him, B, vandalize his house, C, push him off a cliff, or D, all of the above? I think I'm going to lean towards D. The day after I break up with Teddy, my ex-boyfriend sends me this letter. What? What on earth did he send me? What on earth is he giving me? <laughs> uh
This is for Wolfgang. Are you kidding me? I guess we all know what si whose side he's on. Wow. Wow. Of course Wolfgang chooses Teddy's side, though. Of course he does. They did the exact same thing. The fact that the both of them did the exact same thing to me. Yeah, of course they're on the same team. Glad to know there's another enemy on this island now. Just when I thought the two of us were friends once again. He had to pull this move. He had to pull this move. Thank you once again to Brick City for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to check the game out or help support the channel, click the link down below or scan the QR code on screen to download the game for free.